Is this the first Lark we've seen all turn? This might actually, that's definitely the first Lark that I casted. Yeah. I actually thought they were going to go for something more durable, but I turned with, is that if you're NIP and you're running this tri-lane, uh, you don't need three heroes up here to deal with the Dazzle and the Slaughter, because it's unlikely that you kill them. Oh, man, is actually going to be caught. They managed to land the pounce, and with Hanskin there, the cask is out. They're able to right-click him down. It looks like first blood being picked up by Hanskin. Is that all three games now where NIP have actually gotten the first blood? Side to make sure that if Hanskin wants to be able to make a dive, he's going to have to go straight through that tower. Meanwhile, top lane, ooh, there's a nice big jump as Yosef Blood brings down the Dazzle. Nicely played the call, setting up two for a double purification. Now Lodo on the retreat, he will survive, but forced to use that health potion. In fact, he's going to lose it here as he pops the stun. He really does not want to miss out on the CS underneath the tower. This is why Alliance opt to pick uh, top two, the Shadow Fiend. Like, typically you won't see it because it is a counterable hero, right. but if you on the radiant side, it's so oh, easy to stack. Bulldog. He's caught in the staircase, and with Limp there as well, the Split Earth will be able to get that kill. Uh, Bulldog just basically positioned himself to continue to move forward. Unfortunately for him, Limp was already getting that top rune. Yeah, and Hanskin just continues to stack up the jungle right now for Limp, but... Uh, oh my Hanskin. god, a two-man call! They're able to get the purification, but it's still no spins for Yoda some fun. If he'd gotten some spins, he would have actually been able to get the chop on one of them, but unfortunately that's not the case. Now he's going to be glimpsed back Yona Sapphot still tanky enough to be able to survive through this. If anything, he's okay with fighting more purification. Gets laid down to the call once again, but with Pycat turning the fray, the black hole is you and Nora have got the spit. He gets top one. Can he get the other second two? Yona Sapphot getting out. Oh, he's gonna get out. away. Matt goes down to the splitter at the 12. Oh, Matt gets out. away wiping alliance and not losing a single hero all right that was pretty hype behind his stalker too much he's more than tanky enough to be able to deal oh, with Era. any sort of glimpse from play. behind oh Era is actually gonna go straight for hockey trying to take out and force out that shell great yonah sabat's gonna get the chop anyway pycat let's lose that ultimate man on the retreat as well yonah sabat dropping quite low here but it's lit with the repel is more than tanky enough to be able to Era, deal though. any amount of damage Era trying to get away with the shadow dance getting away but the blink forward low to catch them in the end back over to the rest of nip they are now on the retreat as they weren't able to get anything better out of that one. This is what you want to do if you're the carry, okay? Don't show yourself when your team is going for a smoke gank. Yep. Because if you just died during that time, you A, you've wasted your team's smoke gank, and B, you've just given them a free kill where there's no chance for a rebuttal. Yep, and that's exactly why Aaron's hiding himself in the trees. Dodges Lotus Blink. Good play so far. And he will be able to get out of this one. Meanwhile, Alliance now on the retreat. Oh, man! Oh! Yonah Savant gets up. The Dark Pact over the top. Mad King drop low. The Static Storm is enough to be able to force them back. Yonah Savant hoping to be able to get one more spin and a chop, but Matt is trying to keep his distance, but not good enough. The chop fails, and Axe ends up going down first. Meanwhile, the ultimate goes out from the Omni that loaded drop and lower where he's trying to fight up against Era, but he will go down eventually as the pounce lands. The last couple of right clicks will be oh, the, the black hole's just too late. The dark pack gets him first, but Era's gonna go down. Perhaps the cast goes out. Last couple of right clicks, I do get it, but a cast locking down two with the splitter over the top. Lip says hello, Alliance. I'm here to clean you up. Still keep trying to go to wait the last Raise managed to get him while Pycat will fall. He fights up against Limp, but damage is still there between him and Hanskin. Another wipe, but this time it cost him just a little bit more. And that would hold it. A static storm can be pretty key against a Slark, but you also have that oh, uh, SF on. with his ultimate. At top, yeah. he's going to go down for this. Chop and finish him off. But look what Alliance are gaining in return. Sure, they lost Bulldog, but they gained a Roshan. Alliance are the kings of Roshan. Like, no matter what happens, I think he's only the mithril hammer away. The call into Pycat here, he does have a double damage. Yoda Saban still taking a decent amount. Lona makes the initiation on Seal Kid, and this is huge. He can't get off his ultimate. No, he does! Yoda Saban manages to stop the, and the black hole catching out too. But the ultimate of Omni Knight is still helping keep them alive. Omni Knight falls, but Eric does manage to get away. Yoda Saban being kited, managed to force staff and TB out, but the glimpse gets him anyway. Yoda Saban falls. Lip now comes in, but it's too much. It's Alliance starting. Rounding and looking for more. Hanskin turned around, throws out the cask. Era is healing up. Pycat is dropping low, but of course he's still got that second life available to him. They won't even feed away the Aegis. They lost. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Alliance now going to go for it. They know Roshan is probably up at this point. I got to say, this, they are getting major value out of this gem, but they may be going into a very dangerous fight as there is stealth damage on the ground, but if they can get lit first, never mind, there goes the purification. Now, the black hole oh, is lag two. Yonah Savant locks down Bunny Matt, but it still doesn't matter. In the background, though, Hanskin with the Aghanim Scepter. He's doing some work with the Death Ward. They get outside of the range. Era, he's, he's that double damage. He's trying to lock down Pycat and pops. 
stops the flutter of the butterfly. Zoop and a rally will be able to get away from Arrow for a time being. The cask has got its over. Oh no, it's going to be able to catch full blow to end. Admiral Bulldog Pycat escapes. But Nick win the fight as they manage to take out Ford. The last to go down is the Frenchman. Man falls and ninjas in pajamas now turn their sights to getting an Aegis. Hanskin did her. Mm -hmm. So just imagine constantly being hit by that. Era is going to try and make a jump here. Going for Pie Cat. The flutter goes out. He is slowed down by. Is actually going to come in, try and contest this one. Pie Cat pops up EKB, and they're going to turn. Seal Kid gets stunned up, perhaps just a little bit too close to the sun there. And Era says, see you later. Yoda Safan manages to miss that initiation. And now oh, the just wait for the split. Earth managed to catch Pie Cat. Okay, gets away, but Pie Cat, that's the critical pickoff for sure. As Pie Cat will end up going down, not even a counter kill in Yoda Safan. Sure, they lost the Omni Knight, but well worth it in the minds of Ninjas of Pajamas. They're going to try and could spawn at any point in time. So if Alliance do get a really good fight, they could go take Roshan, grab an Aegis and Cheese, and who knows what they could do with that one. Lift is going to be the first one stumbled upon. They are going to try and control him as best as possible. BKB, Shiva's turned around. Loda going for the lockdown on Lip, but he's still dealing out a good amount of damage. Will the sports end up going down? Look at the position from Monskin. Glitz back to send him away, but Loda's already dead, and the rest of Alliance on the retreat. Matt going for the TP out, but oh! Yona Safan manages to catch two of the two critical ones. The black hole goes out. When Pycat's ultimate, they'll be able to get a couple of kills, but it's still not enough. They're just going to get cleaned up by Era. Yona Safan manages to survive even. Thank you, Jonas. He gets the initiation to counter two of Alliance and will even survive with 50 HP. You don't have to force anything right now. On skin again. That's what the third or fourth time that that cliff has been warded up by Alliance and Ninjas the Pajamas. Take that vision away immediately. Pycat gonna be jumped on here by Arrow. Just trying to force something. He does have that agent. Sure enough, there goes the BKB and the ward goes out as well. They have the shallow grave to be able to keep Pycat alive for a little bit longer, as well as the Glimmer Cape. Pycat just barely surviving because of it. Now Lip comes in with the Shivas, forcing the rest of Alliance back. Looks like Matt is gonna be going down. It's a quick chop, takes him out. Loto with counter initiation. Bulldog locks out. Yoda some fun. Bulldog waiting patiently for that initiation, but if he waits too long, they're going to be losing a set of racks. And he's just trying to stop the blink of Jonas and Fawn and maybe wait things out, but the blink four staff! Yeah, he's going to be able to catch two! Jonas and Fawn might just take out Admiral Bulldog first! Double chop gets him! Now Pycat in the background trying to throw that ultimate, but an FKB says no! Eric gets him and even dares the fountain to try and take him out! Loaded tons too, but he's got no backup besides Pycat! Just pops the buyback here, hit by the cast. Arrow runs him down, locks him down with the glitz. They will be able to get him. This is it. And the GG is going down. GG, well played. Alliance will fall to the youngsters of Ninjas and Pajamas. They have been here. They had to lose sight for a second when they got dropped out of the TI qualifiers, but they come back big with the redemption here in Austin, Texas at the X Games, able to take their first gold of their young team life. Actually, for him, Limp was already getting that top route. Yeah, and Hanskin just continues to stack up the jungle right now for Limp, but... Oh, oh and my god, a two-man call! They're able to get the purification, but it's still no spins for Yoda some fun. If he'd got some spins, he would have actually been able to get the chop on one of them, but unfortunately, that's not the case. Now he's going to be glimpsed back. Yoda some fun still tanky enough to be able to survive through this. If anything, he's okay with fighting more purification. Gets laid down, two-man call once again, but with Pycat turning the frame, the black hole is you and Oh my god, the spins! He gets chopped! What? Can he get the other second too? Lucifer getting out! Oh, he's gonna get out. away! Matt goes down to the split earth as well! Oh, Lucifer gets out! Alliance number three! Lucifer goes for the four! He gets it! An ultra kill! Lucifer chop! Quad dunk for Nip as they walk away, wiping Alliance 